Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video, this is my video where I'll be giving you my Chelsea vs AFC Bournemouth preview, which will be taking place today at 3pm, yes I do apologise for this preview being very late, I was meant to do it two days ago, but it doesn't matter, I'm, I'm here doing it now, um, yeah I'm going to begin by giving you my lineup, which will be broken down into the formation and then the personnel as always, then I'll give you some insight into why we need to win this game and then I'll give you my score prediction. So getting into the formation, standard 4-3-3, um, a holding 4-3-3 as Mar that's Maurizio Sarri's favourite variation of the formation. Um, in terms of the personnel, I'm going to try and pronounce his surname. Um, I'm going to go with Arifa bah Bahalaha in goal. I hope I've pronounced it correctly. Um, yeah, I've gone with him in goal. I've gone with a back four of Cesar Aspilicueta at right back. I've gone with a centre back pairing of David Luiz and Antonio Rudiger. Some people argue that Christensen should Christensen sorry should start over David Luiz, and to be honest, I can see why, but I'm not entirely sure if he's ready to play yet. We just have to see what Sari goes with. Um, on the left hand side of the back four, I've gone with Marcos Alonso. I think he's been playing really well. And he deserves to start. He scored. Um, he got the winner against Arsenal, and he played really well in that game. And he played really well against Newcastle. So I think he deserves to start. Although it would be nice to see Emerson Palmieri on the bench in case um, Marcus Salonzo does get injured, or or it would be nice to see him start if Mark, something does happen to Marcus Salonzo during, during the warm up or, or something like that. In the midfield. Um, I've gone with Jorginho in defensive midfield, in central midfield. Here's the um, here's the dilemma. Maurizio Sarri has said that big big um, changes have been made to Ruben Loftus Cheek's play, so um, don't know what that means. But if he's on the bench, then that's good for him. If he starts, that's even better for him. But I've gone with Engolo Kante and Mateo Kovacic in central midfield. Kovacic had a brilliant game against um, Newcastle. He did get booked. For, he did get booked. Uh, he did get booked. Yes, which was a shame. But um, I thought he played really well. And against Arsenal, he changed the game along with Eden Hazard. So I think he deserves to start. Um, Ross Barkley. I don't know. I don't know about him. I don't know what's going to happen if Ruben Loftus Cheek is on the bench and Kovacic starts. Maybe that means that. Um, Ross Barkley may not be in the squad, but we'll just have to see um, who starts in that um, role alongside Engolo Kante and Jorginho. In the front three, I've gone with Pedro on the right-hand side, Alvaro Morata up top and Eden Hazard on the left. I think that Pedro has been playing re really well recently as well. I think that um, he thrives against sides like Bournemouth along with Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard last playing against Bournemouth, he has a superb record against them. So um, hopefully he gets in. Hopefully he has a blinder of a game, and hopefully we give him all the service he needs. Um, in terms of the game and why we need to win it, we were absolutely shocking back in January against them when we lost three 0 I saw the highlights for that game as I watched, as I tuned into it on Chelsea, Chelsea TV, as it wasn't on on Sky Sports or BT Sport at the time, but. Um, from what I was hearing from Ben Andrews and Jason Condy on the gantry, we were really bad. Um, we didn't even start with a striker, so um, that tells you what was going on at the club at the time. So hopefully we rectify that and put in a, a really good performance. I will talk. I will talk more about about who who we what we need to do in order to win in my video, where I give you four things in which we need to do in order to get a result against Bournemouth. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, that's why we need to win. We need to rectify what happened back in January. But on to my score prediction. I've gone with a 3-1 Chelsea win. I think it's not going to be an easy game whatsoever. I think that Bournemouth will cause us problems. If we if we let their key players like Callum Wilson and Andrew Sermon, um, players like that, Josh King... Um, you you know you get you get you get the idea. If you let any of if you let any of those three plus more of their players cause, or if you let any of their players 
if you let any of their key players have a good game, then they will cause us problems. Specifically, Callum Wilson. I'm just giving you one. I'm just giving you a head start of what I'm going to talk about in my four things in which we need to do in order to beat Bournemouth. But yeah, um, I've gone for three one Chelsea win because I think that we'll just have too much for them, and I think that um, I think that we'll get we'll grit we'll grit this one out. I don't necessarily think will be the best performance. I think this will be where um, Sari's philosophy needs to be. Um, implemented and where the players need to get to understand i think bournemouth will try and sit back but we'll just have to see but yeah let's um hope that we get the win and i'll see you all tomorrow for my seven favorite goals my four things in which we need to do in order to beat bournemouth like i said twice already and my team three reaction and then my reaction video so stay tuned for all of those come on you blues and peace please beat bournemouth